So today we are gonna be making over this dresser. It didn't look like this when we found it and we only paid $40 for it. All right, it's Valentine's Day, which means we're going junkin'. <laughs> this is the mirror to the piece. I paid 40 bucks and it came with a mirror and a dresser. Zeb used a step to get in the back of his truck. And here is the dresser. I think it's a really cute set. Definitely needs a new paint job, but it's gonna be good. Zeb says he could lift it by himself. True facts. True facts. Why you marry a muscle man. Hopefully you have room for a bench too, because we got to pick that up next. I don't know if I told you about that. Uh, sure. Oh, look, it's your puppy. He's picking up furniture with us. Can you say hi, Cody? Cody. He's still not sure about the car. I got to get him on my lap. So the nice thing about having the church is that we have this big old barn. So we have places to store stuff. I don't have to be as picky about what I buy, but I'm trying to be good because I only want things I love for the church. I've loaded up my Klingon brush and I'm gonna get started on the top here. And I'm just gonna go back and forth. After I get it brushed on, then I like to come back and stipple a few places. It's hard to see the texture in that white, but it's there. So I'm going kind of a crosshatch pattern because I want to have a fun textured finish on this. So I usually just brush it on and then I just come back. And Zeb will come back behind me with a little brush and he can do the detailed areas that I can't get with this big one. We've got farmhouse finishes here in sea green. I'm gonna mix it up in the cup first and then I'm gonna put it in the big bowl. That way we can use that really big brush. Maybe one of these days we'll remember to get one of the trays out of the garage that we have for using a paint roller, but right now it's the big bowl. So this is this much powder will mix up a quart. Right now I'm probably gonna mix up about a pint of milk paint, because I think that'll be fine. We only wanna mix up as much as we're gonna use. So I'm gonna put half the powder in, give it a good stir and see how it is. If it's on the thin side, that's okay because we want it to move real smooth on the brush. So just like the first coat, I'm gonna use my big Klingon, which we found out was called the B12, if you're looking for it. Zeb will drop the link below. And I'm gonna cover most of it with this Klingon and Zeb's gonna come use a small brush to do the details. And then we're gonna be adding some paint inlays. So it's gonna be fun. Milk paint is much thinner than the DIY paint. So be careful because it can drip a little bit. But see how much I can paint without having to reload my brush? Like, that's why I love this big brush. And I'm okay if some of the white comes through because we're doing kind of a Gustavian finish. I want a really soft finish over the top of that DIY paint and salt wash. Have you dipped again? Nope, I have not. This is one dip and I'm going slow because I don't want it all over my floor. And that's pretty much full coverage too, even with the thinner milk paint. Yeah, you can see a little bit of it through, but that's okay because like I said, we're doing a Gustavian finish, so this works out well. To find the paint and products you're gonna see us use today, visit jamierayvintage.com. So the next step is gonna be wet distressing. I like to use the Turquoise Iris Water Girl because if I pre-moisten it, it just makes it so much easier to get the paint off. I really wanted to two-tone the scroll detail. So you're gonna see when I get to the top that I just wiped back to reveal the white underneath and I didn't have to two-tone it. After that, clear coat with wax and she's almost ready to be done. Jamie just got done clear waxing this. The next step is gonna be black wax. I really just, on the front, I'm just gonna go light here around the keyholes, and then I'm probably gonna hit down in these details a little bit, and then wipe that back. We don't let it sit on here a long time. It's important that if you wanna control this black wax a little more, because it will absorb down into your paint, it's important that you clear wax first. That way you can pull what you need to off. Okay, so I just have that there, a little bit down here in the lines, and then I'm gonna just wipe it back with a dry rag. You can use a wet rag, but just know that if you use a wet rag, you're gonna pull most of your wax off, and maybe some of your paint too, depending on how long the piece is cured. It hasn't dried at all, I'm going right back in. This is just, I tried to find a rag, but now I'm just dealing with a paper towel. The rag was not available, and I didn't wanna let it sit too long while I hunted around. You can see, it's just, it's gonna be subtle there. It's not gonna be real dirty. So I don't want it to be the focus of the piece. I just want it to be an accent to give it some age. 
This is the drawer pool that was on here. Someone had mounted these. We filled the holes and we've got these clamshell cast iron cup pool style and we sell these at jamierayvintage.com. I think they're gonna be a lot better fit, especially this one here, Jamie White Waxed. We're gonna do the white wax on them and give them kind of like an oxidized patina on there. I'm gonna just put the top of the pool at four inches. Rex, you helping me out? I love swooping in at the end and doing a couple things like putting knobs on. It's the best. Hey, I did most of the painting on this because Zeb wound up being busy last night, but the most important thing is it's done. We're super excited to get this finished and in the shop. We've been selling so much furniture that we needed to get this done quickly so we can move a piece out and move this in. If you're interested in transforming your own Facebook Marketplace finds, be sure to visit jamierayvintage.com for the paint and products we use today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Filled your mind with doubt You wanna stay